everybody how you doing so basically what i'm trying to do with this uh, youtube channel and uh, this video series in in general is um play chess on chess.com until i reach a rating of 2000 and rapid um i've been playing chess for about three years already and it's definitely been a journey and uh I wish I started this sooner because I've seen a lot of people do these kind of uh, challenges or these uh, video series where they upload a video a day playing uh, one or two games and uh, they just try to learn from the games and uh, improve their ELO. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. If um, any of you don't know anything about chess or don't play chess at all, uh, I know that I used to upload like uh, videos on this YouTube channel about six, seven years ago. They were pretty random YouTube videos. But at this point, uh, if you're seeing my face pop up in your YouTube feed and you're like, what is this guy doing here? Uh, that's probably why. Um, so it's been a very inactive channel for the past few years, but uh, I'm going to try to keep a, a consistent upload schedule. Uh, but it's pretty much going to be based on chess, nothing more, at least for now. That's the way I envision. Um, so yeah, uh, let's let's get started. All right, let's get this let's get this party started. How about that? So I just created this account as well, um, and the first five games usually it's uh, against opponents who don't have a rating. Let's see, uh, I mean rather. I don't see the rating of my opponent. Um, not just because I'm playing in theater mode, but usually just that's how it works. And we're going to have to play a few games just to get a rating, you know. So we're going to play the, this is the advanced French. Had this position quite a few times. So I'm getting used to like talking while I'm playing. It's going to be, it's going to be interesting how this plays out because uh, I've never done this before, so it's probably a, a skill in itself. Okay, so F4, I don't know any theory, so I have no idea what to do. Right, so I'm looking at takes, takes, um, also looking at Queen B6. I think I'm going to take first, then I'm going to play queen b6, and then have some pressure over here. Okay, he doesn't take. Interesting. All right, well, it's protected. And I'm probably going to eventually put a knight on f5. Right, it does take um, so yeah knight f5 pretty standard also bishop d7 makes sense I think here just in case he plays bishop here and then we have uh, we can take here otherwise bishop b5 comes with check we lose the queen knight f knight f uh, knight g2 e7 then to f5 looks pretty good though Check here. And does that do anything? Check there. I don't see it. I'm just going to develop the knight. Let's see. Hopefully the audio is all right. I'm just recording, uh, recording on my phone. In case he goes knight there. Yeah, I think I just continue with this. Tomorrow, hopefully, I'll I'll get a, or by the next video, I don't know if it's gonna come out tomorrow, but I'll get like a normal mic and hopefully the audio will be good and I'll I'll start figuring things out on how to do how to do stuff. All right. Now I'm just thinking. Go here. Close down the pin. Any castles? All right. So we could take on in the center and I think it makes sense especially now that his king is on the diagonal and the queen's looking that way <clears throat> question is what knight do I take with so if I take with this knight and he takes check um, yeah king's gonna have to go there so I want to take with this knight 
I don't have three captures. Queen takes takes six six. Uh, king's gonna be here, but it's not so bad because the queens are off the board. It's a good question how to do this. I feel like I'm gonna take here. If I take here and he takes there, I can just take with check, so that's fine. <clears throat> Okay, so he, he takes. So I could take with check and then I'm up a pawn. I think I will do that. So I have a clean pawn. King's a bit in the middle, but I'm just gonna develop, you know. This could be a potential fork if he puts something there, but I don't think he's gonna do that. Okay, so he just develops. Okay, I'm gonna I go here, he goes here. But then I have a double check. So it's alright. <clears throat> right, he moves out the way. I feel like playing this makes sense so the knight uh, doesn't come here in the future and if he wants to go there I'll just go back. This does make sense as well though, but I want to keep that bishop. I'm not missing anything. Okay. <clears throat> Opponent's playing pretty good, so I think he's pretty decently rating, uh, rated. Yeah, what else? Okay, that move clearly wants to play here, but that doesn't seem like a, like a good move. I think I'm just gonna put the rook here and and then when he p pushes this, I'll just play it back. Knight can always go back here. Yeah, that was a wasted movement. <clears throat> okay. So this doesn't do anything here, no. I feel like this, so that what, pushes me? No. Actually, well, if I go here, he goes here, then I have this, and I pick up the bishop, I like that. But then my bishop is hanging as well. But so is his rook. And if he doesn't do anything, then just putting extra pressure. I mean, yes and no. Hmm. I'm not convinced by that move. My time's ticking though. I should kind of start hurrying up. Um, all right, let's, let's do it. If he goes, he does have this, which I missed. Okay, so he misses it as well. Takes my bishop, I take his bishop, I'm attacking his rook, so I think that's fine. Right. I'll take his bishop. Thank you very much. And now I can do this, and then I pick up the, uh, the pony. So I'm up two pawns. I got my bishop with uh, my pawns on the light squares. If he takes, then I take. It's looking good, looking good so far. And then I, uh, if he lets me take here, then my rook's on c3, and then I'm gonna put in the other one on c8, controlling the file, and I don't see how I'm gonna lose that. Got two on one on the queen side, and then I have a pass pawn here in the middle, because he lost that one. All right, now I'm attacking his pawn as well. I don't think I'm gonna, yeah. So, uh, this makes sense. Mm, he's gonna push probably. Can't let him take his check. Oh, I'm, sure, I'm gonna do this. Oh no, no, that was a mistake. Should have pushed. Wanted to push and then do that, yeah. Messed up the move order. So my idea was if he took, then I had this, uh, 
I had this mate. But now, okay, so he blocks, that doesn't work. So I'll just take here, I guess. So we're doing, we're fine again. Uh, I gotta pass the pawn. I might be looking to trade. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Try to trade on C1. Uh, it doesn't wanna trade, so I just start pushing, I guess. I go here, he goes there. I go here. If I go here, he has this check, but then I just go, just go up. I feel like this makes sense. Playing a bit risky, but I want to move the king up anyways, but he's going to pick up this pawn. Yeah, that wasn't good. Getting kind of stuck here. I have to block again. Just want to trade the rooks and just push this pawn, honestly. So he defends. As I'm just gonna go, just gonna go here. No checks. If he pushes this, I'll I'll exchange. Um, right. Of course I missed that. So check. Let's go over there. So if I go here, he goes check, move up, check, move up, move up. I feel like I can get away with there with that. So I'm gonna protect this, so I'm just gonna move the king up here, take this pawn. doesn't have this to pick it up. Um, something is off about this. I feel like this makes sense now. Just gonna run the king up. And I have this. I feel like I'm doing okay here. Although with you know my time ticking down and stuff, it's, there's always something can go wrong. Um, what do I want to do here? Do I just want to protect? If he goes down here, let's protect. If he wants to go down here. I just gonna run. This is protected. This pawn's gonna get through and then I have another pawn there. And if he goes here now maybe I just take take. And honestly I can just go. What's that move? Just to go here. Oh he wants to mate me. He's a clever guy. Clever guy. Okay. Just go up. Uh, I'll go here. Time's a bit of a problem right now. Um, check. Check. I think I can take that. If it goes here, go here. Okay, take the check. Um, just gonna keep checking him. <clears throat> Protect. 
effect. Go here. Discourse protected, otherwise, he has a draw. Putting up a really good fight, honestly. And I'm running out of time a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, that wasn't great. Okay, about here. Should have maybe checked with the other rook? I don't know. Gotta keep these pawns protected and just push this pawn right now. Yeah. And I go here. Yeah, not so easy, not so easy. Just block, have too many pawns. Uh, here. Now I just push this pawn, 50 seconds and let's see if we can make it. Doesn't want to let me do that. Trying to trade. Let's see. Go here. Now I'm going to push these pawns. Yeah, now I'm going to push these pawns and Hopefully I can just just go here. Gotta start moving faster. Yeah, not talking very much, just trying to focus 26 seconds. See if we can make it. Just go here. Go here. Then I go here and here, I think. This is gonna come down to it. <laughs> I 
Okay, made a queen. Now we gotta mate the guy. Nah, it's gonna be really tough to mate the guy. One more move, one more millisecond, and I and I and I uh, win. Damn, that's crazy. That's crazy. So this is my rating is like eleven ninety four, which is weird. Um, maybe that's because I played some uh, bullet games before that. Damn, but that's that's unfortunate. I had him there at the end. Just a bit too slow, you know, I, uh, with the conversion. <clears throat> But let's see, uh, let's see the game analysis. So this is all theory. And then, uh, what did he do? He played, uh, he plays a four, which is inaccurate. We took, which is not the best. I wonder, so after a four, what is the best move? Queen B6 or something? Yeah, Queen B6. Okay. All right, so f5 was right, it's okay. And then that was the best move, so that's good. And then here we just developed, that was fine. Yeah, that, that was a mistake, you know, because I think here he takes knight d5 and um, he's attacking this twice. Mm, and then he has this fork if I take. I think that's that's the... Let's see if we can look at the lines. Knight takes d5. Mm, knight a4 is even stronger apparently, but yeah, this is also a problem. Let's see. Interesting. That's a miss. Why is that a miss? Uh, you still have the better position, but you lost your winning advantage. So what did I miss here? So what is the best move? Just taking. And then after this, just takes here. I mean, that's uh, okay, fair enough, but uh, I don't see, um, I don't see what's really wrong with that. <clears throat> yeah, and here obviously I messed it up. Should have played. Uh, I think b5 is the best. Uh, b yeah, b5 is the best move. Oops, what did I do there? Okay, so we blocked. That's best. Should have just exchanged, I guess. Yeah, this was. This is obviously winning. And obviously this is completely winning, but I did mess it up at the end there. So what's the technique here? This is inaccurate. Just go in there and then after he checks, what's the best move? King a3, check here. No. Ah, you build the bridge. Right. You build the bridge and then he can't stop it. So that's what I should have done. My idea was obviously to go... Um, my idea was to go here and then block and then promote. Maybe I should have just, what about just doing this? 
and then he goes here. I promote. And then I have 19 seconds to do to mate him here. Yeah, I was playing too fast there and I, <clears throat> I was just worried about the time. But the crazy part is here at the end. I was trying to. So after all of this, once I got here, I just started pre moving because I knew that if I put my queen here in d7, uh, his king can only move from a8 to b8. And then I eventually I bring the king. Um, over to c6 and I made him on b7 but I think I just made a here yeah I just I, I if I went here and here and here I think I had exactly like the time to mate him maybe not still for just like one millisecond because every pre-move takes at least one millisecond um, but yeah I just was moving so fast that I even mouse slipped the, the route with the king and then I wasn't able to mate him here. Oh well, too bad. Well, all right there. So uh, thank you for watching, guys. That was a pretty crazy, uh, pretty crazy game. If I just had a, I mean, that just goes to show. Like, if you have a couple more seconds, like even like two, three more seconds, that that makes all the difference between a draw and a victory there. Um, but that's all right, you know, whatever, we just, we'll keep playing, uh, we'll keep learning, and uh, if I had done something, I'm sure if I was better in the middle game there with the two rooks, uh, I would have uh, gotten the victory sooner, so it's all about learning. Um, once again, just thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video, just uh, leave a like, you know, subscribe, it'll be great, and if anybody wants to play me on chess.com, my uh, username is blunder2k, I'll leave it down in the description anyways. And uh, we'll have some fun. We'll enjoy, enjoy some games together. All right. See you in the next video.